On a quiet evening in 1965, 39-year-old Patricia had just finished bathing her eldest daughter, Ophelia, as she felt a sudden headache come on. As the dull twinges of pain transitioned into heavy thumps, she called out to her husband for some ibuprofen. Roald, could you bring me some ibuprofen? Patricia's speech began to slur as the right side of her face drooped uncontrollably and her head spun round and round. Three weeks later, Patricia woke up in a hospital bed with her husband, her three children and two doctors peering over her. Patricia, it's Dr. Russell here, can you hear me? Patricia attempted to reply to the doctor, but found, to her dismay, that her face refused to move. Just one year ago, Patricia Neal had won an Oscar for her performance as lead actress in a Hollywood blockbuster. But now, after a burst blood vessel had caused substantial damage to her left hemisphere, she lay helpless in a hospital bed, unable to move or talk. Three weeks earlier, as Patricia was shuttled into the hospital, the doctors had warned her husband, Roald Dahl, that the prognosis looked bleak. In fact, things had looked so bad that some newspapers had already announced her death. Against all odds, she'd managed to survive. But the doctors were quick to advise Roald that her ability to walk, talk or act would be gone forever. Determined not to lose his wife, Roald threw himself into the laborious task of devising an intensive therapy program for Patricia. For the next 10 months, Patricia's life looked more like that of a schoolchild as nurses and volunteers attempted to reteach her simple vocabulary and forced her to complete endless homework. Two years later, Patricia stood confidently on the set of her newest film, practicing her lines with perfect pronunciation. Somehow, Patricia had managed to defy all of the doctor's expectations and had regained the ability to talk and walk. The doctors couldn't understand her miraculous recovery. Patricia's accident had permanently damaged her left brain hemisphere, including her Broca's area, Wernicke's area, and motor cortex. And since language and movement are localized to these brain regions, there should have been no way for Patricia to recover. However, these doctors hadn't accounted for brain plasticity in Patricia's recovery. But before we can look at brain plasticity, we first need to look at functional recovery.